tail is forced down at high speeds, a pronounced buffeting effect will develop and the plane will swerve. However, when the tail is held up by forward pressure on the stick, the buffeting effect will be slight and swerving will be minimized. Notice that the airplane should be down on all three points before the brakes are touched. You can't see directly ahead, and therefore you must be doubly alert to maintain your path. Normal technique with the brakes will maintain your direction, and experience will bring competence in any flap setting. Now let's watch the F4U come in for a field carrier landing. The normal landing checkoff list is used, but for this type of landing, flaps are fully extended. As you approach the mat, keep your eyes on the signal officer. Slightly past, he wigwags. Now, a little low. When he gives you the cut, close the throttle, break your glide, and set her down. Get to know the installation, controls, and engine operation of the F4U. Familiarize yourself with her takeoff and landing habits and rather abrupt stalling characteristics. There's nothing about the Corsair that good pilot technique can't handle. There's plenty of guts in her engine and plenty of sting in her gun. Use her power and speed for your own advantage and put bombs and bullets where they will be most effective.